This app from the App Store is making $2 million a month and I, with you, will build this exact app from scratch without having to write a single line of code. I'll also connect Stripe to my app so that you and I can start making money right away. Step by step, I'll be guiding you on how to copy this $2 million a month app with only one AI tool. And I've been using this viral app for quite a while now and I totally see why it's making crazy money for people. Just take a photo of any plant, for example, and identify it instantly. But that's not all. The app also gives detailed plant care recommendations, so it's no surprise why this app is making millions and millions every month. And if you've watched my previous videos, you pretty much already know I've been building different kinds of apps using AI app builders. This time around, I'm taking on another challenge, and it's to copy this exact iOS app and build the core features using only one tool, Replit. The good news is Replit already has a code chatbot that works as an AI agent, so we don't need to build one, and that means we can just jump right into building the app right away. So let's go ahead and start by going to the Replit homepage. And once you have signed up and you subscribe to Replit, you will gain access to the Replit AI agent. Now, start with this prompt. And actually, I got this prompt straight from ChatGPT, and it perfectly outlines the idea I need for this app that we're making right now. So it's develop a mobile application that enables users to quickly identify plants by simply uploading an image. The app should provide immediate and informative feedback, including the plant's name and essential care information. And that's it. So since Replit can't create native mobile apps, it should have adapted to the concept to a responsive web application that will actually work pretty well on both desktop and for mobile browsers. Then right from here, I can add some features for the app. But in this case, I kind of want to start with building the initial prototype first. So let's approve this plan and start. All right, wow, I wasn't expecting this actually because the initial UI design of the app looks pretty dang good already. And the current interface is clear and it is accessible, making it easy for users to upload their own plant image right from the main screen. So I'm going to try uploading a plant image and let's see how this app works. Click identify plant and then let's see how Replit responds. All right, now it shows the plant's name and a few details about it. But as you notice, the results isn't accurate. It gives us different results, so I need to fix the plant identification. And in this case, I'm going to be using Google Gemini for plant identification to analyze the uploaded image for more accurate results. The Gemini API is actually the best tool to identify plants. You can use ChatGPT, but Gemini is more accurate when it comes to plant identification. So we'll type, use the Google Gemini API for plant identification. And now here, we need to enter the Google Gemini API key. I'm going to visit the Google AI Studio, create an API key, if you haven't already, and then we'll go ahead and copy the API key and paste it here. Click on Get API Key and click Create API Key, then copy and paste it here. All right, so let's try to upload the same image and see what will happen when we click on identify a plant. Okay, so now I received an error. So again, I'm gonna go back to the Replit agent and type use the recommended Gemini-1.5 flash model instead. Now let's try uploading a plant image again and see if the identification works this time. Yikes, I got another error. So I will copy the error message this time and I'll paste it here. And if you're running into the same kinds of errors repeatedly, I really recommend typing out the exact text prompt you entered earlier. So now I've successfully fixed the error thanks to the Replit agent. And now I need to refine the next interface when an image is uploaded. So I'll type, when a user uploads an image at the bottom of the description, show a table containing some information about the plant, then add more elements to the page, textiles, and to make it more attractive. So let's try to upload. 
Okay, so I got a negative result, so I need to fix this. And I typed the prompt I just entered. Again, an error shows up saying, unable to identify plan. So I'm going to copy the error, and then I'm going to paste it here, and I'll let the AI agent fix the issue. All right, pretty good result this time. After identifying the plan, the page now shows the enhanced card layout. Care instructions have icons, the information table is visible, and the styling, the gradients, and hover effects all work perfectly fine, and it looks pretty smooth too. So now I'm going to want to focus a little bit more on the UI design. So I'm going back to the Replit agent and I'm gonna type this prompt. Ensure the interface is visually appealing and enhances user experience. Okay, so let's open it in a browser and let's try to upload an image. All right, it looks pretty amazing to me. As you can see, the page now has a clean background, smoother animations, proper spacing, and nice hover effects too. Replit really did a good job here. So to make this app even more visually appealing, yeah, well, let's keep going. I'm going to refine the design just a little bit further. So I'm gonna go back to the Replit agent and I'm gonna type, add a navigation bar at the top of the page, including home, about, contact, and add a footer section with additional website information. So let's see how Replit responds. Open up in a new browser and then try to upload an image. Again, pretty amazing results. Now the recent changes enhance the website structure and navigation. The navigation bar is now visible on all of the pages, featuring home, about, and contact tabs, along with a logo, of course. Plus, we now have a footer for additional site details. One great feature of Replit is its ability to analyze and replicate designs. You can upload a screenshot of an existing web page or layout that you like yourself, and then the AI agent will copy and implement the design into your project. So let's try this one. I'm going to use this image here, and then now I'll go back to the Replit agent and click this icon to attach the image. And then I'm going to type below the upload section, add a section where it explains how to use the app. Take the inspiration from the image attached and include icons in each card. Okay, so let's wait a little bit and see what will happen. Let's refresh the page and bam, pretty cool. It added a how it works section to the homepage and featuring illustrated cards with icons explaining the functionality of this app. Now I want to add another button. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the Replit agent and I'm gonna type add a take photo button beside the upload button to take a photo from their device's camera as well. Okay, so this time I want to change the color and size of the take photo button and make it the same as the upload button. Again, going back to the Replit agent to change the size and match the style of the upload button. All right, I'm going to try and upload a plant image and it shows the identify plant button and it works really well. Now I'll try the take photo button. Okay, so now instead of using the device camera, the app wants to upload an image. So I'm gonna go back to the Replit agent and I'm gonna type Implement camera access for plant image capture when trying to click the take photo button. Then add a capture photo button visible. And when clicking on capture photo button, it should start analyzing the plant image. So let's go ahead and wait and see. Refresh the page and then I'm going to go ahead and try it again. All right, so now the app is requesting permission to use our device's camera. Next, we have the capture photo button, which the app will then analyze. And there you go. So all the buttons are fixed and we're going to proceed to another feature I want to add to this app. Now, I want to enhance the app's functionality by displaying all relevant information and related sources about the plant after identification. So I want to add this feature going back to the Replit agent and I'll type out this prompt. After the plant identification, the app will also provide options to learn more through in-depth articles or related resources. 
Okay, so let's try to upload a plant image again. And there you go. You can see here at the bottom, we have additional references and we also have related sources. So our users can learn more about whatever plant they upload or take a photo of. Okay, so now the app is completed. The app is now fully functional with a super clean design. It has accurate plant identification using Google Gemini and some helpful features like image upload, camera capture, and a section of learning resources. So let's try this app in a mobile view. The interface is user friendly and everything works pretty smoothly to me. So users can now easily identify plants and get care tips in just a few clicks and taps. And this time I want to add this prompt to make an engaging visual experience. Add a background design, a moving green gradient effect throughout the entire website. And that one looks pretty good. We have just updated the visual experience. As for Stripe integration, now for the final step, I want to monetize this app, of course, by integrating my Stripe account and setting up a subscription service. Now, the free plan offers unlimited plant identification for seven days. Then the next level up, a premium plan priced at 99 cents a month will provide users with unlimited plant identifications for one month. So first up, head over to your Stripe account, then enable this test mode. Go to product catalog, then add a product, name this to premium plan and set this price to 99 cents a month. Go to developers here at the bottom left, then copy this publishable key and the Stripe key. Now we'll go back to Replit and we'll ask the AI agent to add a user identification and integrate Stripe payment so the new users can get the seven day free plan. Then a premium plan priced at 99 cents a month will provide users with unlimited plant identifications for one month. Okay, now, so we need to enter the price ID and the secret key. So we'll have to go back to Stripe, then navigate to product catalog, then click the three dots and copy ID. Then get the Stripe key from here and paste it into Replit. Then we're going to click continue now, I want users to register an account before they can access the seven day free trial. So I'm going to go back to Replit and type out users cannot use the plant identification if they are not registered yet. OK, so let's see how Replit will respond. And there it is. Now the app displays start identifying plants. Sign up now to get started with your seven day free trial. All right, now from here, you can register your email and password to create an account. And once our users are logged in, the app displays their trial status along with the end dates of their seven day free trial. And there is an upgrade to premium button. So this one will allow users to switch up to the premium plan. So if I'm going to click on the upgrade to premium button, then the subscribe now button and error shows up. So I'll have to copy the error message and then write back out to the Replit agent. Please fix this error and then we'll paste it in there. Again, the error shows up repeatedly. So now I'm going to type when trying to click on subscribe now button, the app will proceed to Stripe checkout. Now, Let's test the entire workflow. I'll register a new account. Then I'm going to upgrade to the premium plan and then click on subscribe now. I'll enter the payment details and the payment is successful. Next, I'll log back in and there you go. There it is. Everything is now working perfectly. Finally, the Stripe integration is complete and now the app is fully built. It's AI powered, it's beautifully designed, and it's also monetized with Stripe. So our users can get a seven day free trial for unlimited plant identifications for first time users. And then they can subscribe for just 99 cents a month to keep using those premium features. Honestly, there's still so much more we could do here on this app. We could add more features. We can make the UI a little bit better and we can even add an even smoother user experience. But for now, we've built this $2 million a month iOS app. And that just goes to show how powerful the Replit AI agent is. Now, next time I'm going to go ahead and take on another bigger challenge and I'm hoping you're going to go ahead and join me so we can learn together. 
For now, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.